The NFT ecosystem is vibrant on the Elrond blockchain. Naturally, many NFT marketplaces emerged on Elrond to suit the needs of NFT projects and NFT collectors alike. Each marketplace has a unique set of features that it aims to provide to its user base. But what if there was a marketplace that could offer you all of your favorite functionalities, plus a compelling and intuitive user interface to create mintable and stakeable NFT collections with zero code? Enter NFTOR. Keep watching, and as a bonus, we'll show you how to create a mintable NFT collection on NFTOR with zero code. Welcome to the Compathian State Project Spotlight Series. The content in this video is not meant as financial advice. Our content is fully for educational purposes only. A successful project is one that manages to bring users back every day. You can't do this without offering them crucial and compelling features. NFTOR, built on Elrond, goes above and beyond this matter. The project aims to help users make every action they possibly need in the Elrond NFT ecosystem in one place, in their own words. NFTOR is a project that will be the add-up of all the functionalities used by people that are active in the NFT area. We are building a complete ecosystem for the NFTs living on Elrond. The all-in-one platform for people that are active in the NFT world. With tools like Marketplace, Launchpad, Community Management Tool, Charity Crowdfunding, and special tools for creating NFTs and NFT collections, and many more. Let's talk about the functionalities that are already live, starting with the NFT Marketplace. It can be found at nftour.com forward slash marketplace. It already achieved over 6,200 transactions, with a sales volume consisting of over 3,400 e-gold. What is more important is that we're not just a marketplace. We will have many diverse projects which will build the NFTOR ecosystem. They added, secondly, the NFT collection creation and minting tool. This tool for configuring a mintable collection is ready, so everybody can come to NFTOR and 1. Prepare their collection 2. Sell it as a mintable one For free! Yeah, free! There are only the inherent fees on the Elrond blockchain for transactions such as creating an NFT collection. As promised, we will show you how to create a mintable NFT collection step by step. NFTOR makes it easy though. So let's jump in. First off, we'll go to nftor.com and connect our Elrond wallet from the top right corner. Feel free to choose your preferred wallet. I'm going to connect using the Maya DeFi extension. Now that your wallet has been connected, click once again the top right button where our wallet is and you will see the option to create an NFT collection. And here, you see we have the option to create a mintable NFT collection without any code. Let's go ahead and click on it. First step is creating the smart contract which will allow users to mint NFTs from our collection. You can even select an existing one if, for example, you've already created a mintable collection before and just want to add more mintable NFTs in it. But since this is our first time, we'll choose to create a new smart contract and then click on Deploy Smart Contract to deploy it on the Elrond blockchain on the mainnet and then sign the prompted transaction. Now we can select the newly created smart contract and move on. In the next step, we must also choose an existing NFT collection or create a new one. I will choose to create a new one and then choose a name and a ticker for the collection. The name for the collection is self-explanatory. The ticker is simply the identifier. Think what eGold is for eGold or Ride for Hollow Ride. After we settle on a name and a ticker, we can click Submit and sign the new transactions. After the transactions are done processing, we will be able to see our newly created NFT collection and select it. Now for the fun part! 
uploading the NFT art. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, calm down, please. I'm trying. Now for the fun part, uploading our NFT art. Since the actual NFT will be created only after someone mints one, we must not only provide the artwork, but the information for each artwork. It's pretty simple, so let us show you how to do that. First, name all your artwork files in order, starting from one. Our files are PNG files, and we have 10 as an example. So the files are named from 1.png up to 10.png. But you need to know how to count from 1 to 10. This is a very important step. Okay, I, I am I'm almost a little concerned that you might be overqualified <laughs> for the position. For each respective image file, we also have a .json file. Here is how to do it. First, make sure you have enabled file extensions in the folder view. You can enable it on Windows 11 like this. Now that file name extensions are enabled, right-click inside the folder and create a new text document. Name it as your first artwork, one, and then change the extension text to JSON. Here is how it should look inside. You can have information such as the description of your NFT or even attributes. For simplicity, we'll not add any attributes to our NFT and only leave the NFT description. Make sure the text is exactly like you see here, except for the description inside the quotation marks, where you should add whatever description you want for your NFT. Do this for every artwork left. I've already done it in advance. As you can see, that each image file has its own respective .json file. Now, our files are ready to be uploaded. First, we will upload the artwork. In our case, the PNG files. And now we'll upload the JSON files. The hard part is done. Well done, you made it. The hard part is a finish. <laughs> talking about me in Italian? You no, know, they can't speak Italian. They just like to pretend they can. <laughs> Tadagio! Finally, let's choose a base name for our NFTs. Basically, each NFT will bear this name, followed by a number. Then you can add some tags separated by commas. Then select your preferred royalties. So every time your NFT gets resold, you will receive that percentage of the price it was sold for. Next is choosing the mint price and finally when the mint should become possible. Don't worry, you can always change this after too. When you settle on these details and everything looks right, press submit and wait for the artwork and JSNO files to be uploaded to the IPFS. After that is done, sign the transaction and when it's finished processing, you'll be redirected to the Manage Mintable Collection page. Select List Mintable Collections, as you can see here. And here is our Mintable Collection ready to be published. Click Configure and then Publish. Add the last details for your collection and then click on Publish. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial. Now, let us continue where we left off. Thirdly, as we've seen just before, NFTOR even prepared a tool for configuring a stakeable NFT collection, so every collection owner can configure on our platform their own reward system for their community. They said, we know a lot of people do this manually, so we found a solution for all the collections on Elrond by automatizing the whole process for free. And here are some neat features that are coming up. One, launchpad for Elrond NFT-based projects. Two, community management tool. Three, charity crowdfunding section. Four, NFT artificial intelligence creation tool. And five, NFT collection generation tools. The core of the NFTOR project is EFTR, the project's native token, which is already listed on coingecko.com. The token will be listed on Meyer Exchange, the official Elrond Dex, after the final round of the pre-sale. 
we will talk about the tokenomics of the EFTR in a bit. So hold your horses and don't be going anywhere because it's going to get a hell of a lot more exciting. Here are some other key aspects that are worth mentioning about NFTOR, among some of the really cool upcoming features. The low fees for EGLD transactions and no fees for EFTR transactions. We'll keep no fees even for EGLD transactions until 2023. After that, we'll add small fees for transactions paid with EGLD in order to stimulate the usage of EFTR. No fees for minting, no fees for the collection owner, no fees for the buyers, no fees for staking, no fees for the collection owner, no fees for the NFT holders. They said, no headaches for artists regarding the storage of the artwork. NFTOR uses IPFS for this, the interplanetary file system, a decentralized storage and data sharing system. No waiting time or manual claiming for NFT royalties. The royalties are sent to the owner at the moment of the NFT sale. On other marketplaces, it is common to raise the funds in their platform and the creator to manually claim them periodically, which means that an extra step needs to be taken compared to our platform. The monitoring of the sold NFTs is easier by getting royalties directly at the sale as you can track the money from the royalties arriving into your wallet. NFTOR said on this matter, the NFT collection creation tools, generative NFT collection. Most large collections are generative based on layers, permuting all combinations of different elements such that 1,000 out of 5,000 or 10,000 unique NFTs are obtained. We wish to integrate a tool in the NFTOR platform so that the users can upload their NFT layers create NFT layers and generate an NFT collection containing even the rarities which will be calculated, including the scenario in which the attributes will have different associated rarity scores set by the user. NFT AI Generator We see this tool's utility as a complement for the previous one so the creator can obtain ideas of how to differentiate layers, how to edit the image while writing only text. For some cases, even to generate a complete collection just by a description processed by an algorithm. And lastly, the community management tools. Here is what NFTOR had to say about this. As a community manager, it is difficult to quickly and simply reach all the NFT owners. So we will develop a solution for that too. We will develop a tool which will make the communication between the two parts easier and even allow organizing special events, airdrops, or giving rewards directly by the manager to all the NFT owners from that community. The all-in-one NFT platform on our favorite blockchain. Sounds pretty good to us. Let's move to the final part and talk about the EFTR tokenomics. If you haven't done so already, be sure to pay attention now because this is where the money's made. The maximum supply of EFTR is 400 million. You can see the distribution in this graphic. Important to mention that the EFTR token will also be burnable in order to ensure that deflationary mechanisms are possible. EFTR can and will be used in various ways, such as transacting NFTs without fees, staking, access to airdrops, access to exclusive collections, various discounts, etc. You can read all about it in the NFTOR white paper, linked in the description below. Let's talk about the sale round. There have been two successful sale rounds so far. First, the seed sale, where 1.5% of the total supply, 6 million tokens, were sold on March 30th in just 26 minutes at $0.015 per token. Next came the pre-sale one, which ended as well, and where 7 million tokens were sold at $0.035 per token. The final round is yet to be announced, so make sure to follow NFTOR's social media to not miss it.
All the links are in the description below. And now our video comes to a close. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel, like the video, share it with your friends, and of course, keep an eye out for our next video. And as always, mountaineers, keep on mountaineering. And don't forget, become who you were born to be.